Hello friends, welcome to Slide Hunt with C Programming video tutorial. In this tutorial, I am gonna show you how to solve the Tower of Hanoi problem. It is a very famous game. In this game, there are three pegs and n number of digs place one over the other. The objective of this game is to move the digs one by one from first peg to the last peg. There is only one condition that is we cannot place a bigger dicks on the top of a smaller dicks. Here three pegs are level S, A and D. S indicates source peg, A indicates auxiliary peg and D indicates destination peg. In this example we are considering three dicks and they are placed in decreasing order from bottom to top. Our task is to move the dicks from S peg to D peg in the same order as they are in the source peg. That means at the bottom place the red dicks, then green dicks and then blue dicks. That's the problem. Let's try to solve it. To solve this game we use a general notation that is tower and it takes four parameter n, source, auxiliary and destination. Tower indicates function name, n equal to number of dicks, sou indicates source peg, aux indicate auxiliary peg and DES indicates destination peg. Next we follow the three recursive step to solve the problem and they are first step is tower n minus 1 source destination and auxiliary. Step 1 says move top n minus 1 digs from source to auxiliary peg. Then step 2 step 2 says move 1 digs from source to destination peg. And then step 3, step 3 says move n minus 1 dig from auxiliary to destination peg. We have 3 digs, red, green and blue placed in source peg. So n equal to 3, therefore we start with tower 3, S, A and D. We have 3 recursive step and we apply this 3 step on this. Here n equal to 3, source equal to S, auxiliary equal to A and destination equal to D. First we apply here step 1 and we get this one. Here the first parameter is n minus 1 and here n equal to 3. So 3 minus 1 that is 2. Then write the source. Here source means s. So we write here s. Then destination. Here destination equal to d. So we write here d. And then auxiliary. Auxiliary equal to a. So we write here a. Then we apply here step 2 and we get this one. And this indicates move from S to D. Then we apply step 3 and we get this one. Because the first parameter is N minus 1, so 3 minus 1 that is 2. Then write auxiliary that is A. Then write source which is S and then destination which is D. Then we apply the three step here. Here N equal to 2, source equal to S, auxiliary equal to D and destination equal to A. So apply here the first step and we get this one and this indicate move from S to D. Then apply here second step and we get this one and this indicate move from S to A and then apply here step 3 and we get this one and this indicate move from D to A. Next we apply the three step here. Here N equal to 2, source equal to A, auxiliary equal to S and destination equal to D. So here we apply the first step and we get this one because n minus 1 here n equal to 2 so 2 minus 1 we get 1 then write source which is a so we write here a then destination which is d so we write here d and then auxiliary auxiliary equal to s so we write here s and this indicates move from a to s then we apply here step 2 and we get this one and it indicates move from A to D. Then we apply here step 3 and we get this one and this indicate move from S to D. So we get all the moves. Let's see how digs move from one peg to another. First execute this one and it indicate move from source to destination. It is done. Then execute this one means move from S to A. Completed. Then execute D to A. It 
it is done then execute s to d then a to s then a to d and finally s to d moves completed and the game is solved next we see how many number of moves required to solve the game if there are n number of digs then we required minimum 2 to the power n minus 1 moves to solve the game if n equal to 3 then minimum number of moves required 2 to the power 3 minus 1 which is equal to 7 if n equal to 4 then minimum number of moves required 2 to the power 4 minus 1 which is equal to 15 let's move to the coding here our first task is to declare variable so write here int n next i am gonna ask user to enter the number of digs printf enter number of digs next we read the input number using scanf function scanf percent d and then ampersand n next we call the function that is tower and within parenthesis write the parameter that is n then h a and then d here n indicates the number of digs s indicates source peg a indicates auxiliary peg and d indicates destination peg here we write s a and d within a single code because these are three characters next we need to define this function so write here void tower in 10 care source care auxiliary and then care destination inside the function we check the value of n so i'm gonna write here if n equal to equal to 1 if n equal to 1 then it print a message so i'm gonna write here print f move from tower percent c to tower percent c and here refer source and destination if the value of n is greater than 1 then it execute the else block so write here else inside the else block we write the three recursive function and they are tower n minus 1 source destination and then auxiliary next we write the second function that is tower 1 source auxiliary and then destination and finally write the third function tower n minus 1 auxiliary source and then destination our next task is to write the prototype so write here void tower and within parenthesis write the type of the parameter our program is completed let's check the output compile it and run it enter number of digs I am gonna enter 3 and the output is this first move from tower s to d then move from tower s to a then d to a then tower s to d then tower a to s then tower a to d and then s to d let's check for another value compile it and run it and this time i'm gonna enter 4 and the output is this to solve the game with 4 digs we need 15 moves that's it hope you understand see you next tutorial thank you for watching this video to watch more videos please subscribe this channel